In this video, I want to show you how you can upload some products to your WooCommerce store, not the traditional way with WooCommerce, because I want to show you some advanced features or another way to upload those products if you're having some advanced custom fields connected to your products. So with that out of the way, let's get started with the tutorial. So when we're here in our WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to plugins and in the plugins, add new over in the search box, what you want to search for is import products. And I'll show you exactly what plugin you have to install. So we have our search and let's scroll a little down and we're going to find this exact plugin by smack coders. It's called import all pages, post types, products, orders, and users as XML and CSV. So head over and install it and then activate it. Once you hit activate, it will prompt you with this following page. What you want to do is head over and enable or install and activate the following plugin or extension for this plugin. And once we're done here, let's head over to our new item on our sidebar right over here, ultimate CSV import for free. The first thing that you want to see is this exact page. What you want to see here is the import here. You have the advanced and simple mode. So in the simple mode, you have just to import the thing in our case, it will be our products. It will be a CSV file. Or if you want to be a little bit more advanced and you have the knowledge to, you can go to the advanced mode and you can upload via FTP, SFTP, upload from URL, or just upload your files over here. And you have the option also to choose a file in the server. So that out of the way, let's head over and upload our CSV file. So for this example, I went over with the default or sample products of WooCommerce, as you might be able to see in my next tab, right over here, you'll be able to see those products. But one thing that I've added to this table or a CSV file is if we go right to the right, right over here, we have a new table column. This exact column would be an ACF field. And I'll be showing you exactly what are you going to be linking to and how you can set this up. So let's head over back to our WooCommerce store, we'll head over and install the ACF plugin and in the search box, search for ACF. So it would be this exact plugin, advanced custom fields, head over and install and activate it. Let's head over and create or add new field or advanced custom field. Right over here, click this button and we'll have a new page that will be setting up our new field. For my link, I've tried a few things and I've seen that although you'll be able to think that the field that you need to it will be a URL link or that exact field, it's not that field that you want to set up. What you want to set up is the O embed field and that would be this one O embed with the little outline of the box so click that and then select field what that field does is basically takes the URL and displays it for example I'll be taking a video URL of mine and I'll be displaying it inside the product page the next thing that you want to do is head over to the field label but before that give a name to your field so let's do video link for single product. So let's have a field label product video. We have a field name. Good. It will be populated and you'll want to use that exact field and remember it. And if you don't just copy and paste it to a place where you can remember and use it later, we'll be seeing that in the CSV file. Just one more thing that you have to do is scroll down a little bit here. Post type is equal to not post. You want to choose the product. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. Validation. You don't need presentation. You don't have to do anything. If you want to put some more information, in the instructions, go ahead by all means and conditional logic. You don't need to let's save those changes and great field group published. Now for our products, we don't have any products in our shop. So what we're going to do is we're going to import them. But although the usual method would be to import it for here through the default WooCommerce importer, one thing that I have noticed, at least for the time of recording this video, that I haven't seen that the default WooCommerce importer supports some ACF fields. So let's start import and you will be able to see that it prompts us to choose a file. I'll be uploading a file right now. We did that. We don't need to update existing products because we don't have any. So let's continue. And the next thing that you want to see, it, it will be populating all the fields that it thinks or that it sees by the 
table that it should be populated. For example, let's head over to our first field will be the ID. And as we'll be able to see here, the first field in this table, if we scroll to the left, we have the ID and then type SKU name published is featured and so forth. As we'll be able to see right here, ID type SKU name and published. Let's continue with the tutorial. And I'll show you exactly what I mean because we have download URL. But one thing we're missing is our video link as we'll be able to see right over here. If we expand that a little bit, we can see download to URL and we have the video link, but it doesn't have any field that shows me that I'll be able to populate it with an ACF field. So thus we have that plugin that we have installed. So the ultimate CSV importer, let's head over there. And right over here, we do the same thing. We'll be uploading our file, right? It started the upload. And now what you want to do is set this up to import each record as now you'll be seeing in the drop down that we have a few things. Now, although you'll be able to be tempted to choose the single product or that exactly product, I will encourage you not to do so, but to choose the following thing, WooCommerce product and then continue. Now we'll be having almost the same thing or the same concept while here you'll be able to choose all the fields that you want to be populating. So we have the title we have here and we have our title by name. So we have the content and then we have description. We have a short description for it and so forth. Now, the idea here is not to go all over it because otherwise the tutorial will be very, very long. But one more thing that I wanted to show you before I head over and show you how you can set up the ACF field to be populated. I wanted to show you the other option that you have in your exposal. If you want to, you have the drag and drop mode. So right over here, you can see that all those fields are resembling what you'll be able to to see almost kind of in the single product page as you'll be able to see right over here we have the id we have the title and we'll be able to show you what exactly those fields represent themselves right over here in the right column if we scroll down to the bottom we have the download url but we don't have our video link so let me fix that really quick so what i did here i just re-uploaded the file and now be able to see our exact video link. So as you'll be able to see over here, we have the video link and we have the HTTPS www.youtube and so forth. So let's scroll to the bottom and we'll be able to see that we have a create WP custom fields. And that is exactly the place that you wanted to populate or create or connect that ACF field. So let's add custom field. And right over here, that exactly is the product video. Make sure that this exact field name would be corresponding to the ACF field that we able to see here or the ID, because then if it would not be correct, then it would not populate it correctly. So we have the CSV header. And what I love about this plugin is that you can actually drag and drop that and it will be populating. So for example, we have the video link, just click it and then hold the mouse and then drag and then drop it. And we have the video link as we can see here in our curly braces. So let's hover to the top. And I just want to make sure with you exactly that this ID corresponding to the ID that I have created in the ACA field. So let's open it in a new tab. And right over here, let's see our video link single product. So let's head over here, let's edit it. And then we'll be able to see our product video. Just to be sure, let's copy it and then paste it right over here. So we have the video link, I will not be populating all those fields, I'll be just populating some of them just to show you because otherwise, it's going to be very, very long. So let's do it really quick. Let's do the type. Right over here, let's do the meta fields. And we have under, let's control F, type, right over here, product type. Let's drag and drop it. So let's do our SKU. Let's search for SKU. And right over here, we have our SKU, drag and drop it. I think you get the hang of it. Let me do it really quick and then I'll get back to you. Now that we're done, you might be able to see here and it's very, very small and tiny thing. But what I've seen here in the documentation of this, plugin and be able to see the link to the plugin and to the documentation down below this video or in the description of this video. And you'll be able to see here that published, it would be populated with number one, and then is featured as one. And we have your in stock as one and you have all these numbers. What I've seen in my own experience that if you have this product, for example, it would be simple, it would be some number. And if it would be an external, it will be for example, number three, if we'll look at the WooCommerce documentation, it would not be that it would be external, simple, and so forth, it would be text. So make sure over here that you put some numbers per the documentation, because otherwise, it would not be populated, or you would see the outcome not as you want to. And when you populating or when you 
have a lot of products, you want to make sure that you exactly populate it as you want it because then it will save you a ton of time then. So let's scroll to the bottom and then hit continue. Here I don't usually do anything. I just press continue because I don't have necessity to do anything and then start import. So whatever here, we have 25 products. As you can see that it start importing and then we'll be able to, to view our log and when it's completed, you'll see that it hits 100%. Let's close that and then let's view our products. Let's go to our products. So once our products are ready and have been published in our WooCommerce store and been uploaded to our website, what we want to do is search for that exact product to see that that ACF field was populated. So we're going to be searching for the V-neck t-shirt. So let's do let's go to the next page and right over here we have the v-neck t-shirt so let's head over and edit it and now we'll be able to see that our name is populated our description is populated our product gallery is populated and our video over here is populated and the same thing applies to the short description and that is exactly concluding this tutorial how we'll be able to upload your woocommerce products including those aca fields just make sure that you correctly set up everything and go over everything before you upload a huge bulk of products. If that video helped you, I'd be really glad to if you would leave a thumbs up and if you would like to see more videos or any other videos concerning WooCommerce, Elementor or WordPress, make sure to subscribe because I'm uploading it on a very consistent basis and I'll be seeing you in the next video.